Hey, welcome back everybody. It's been a very long time since I've done one of these videos and I'm so sorry that I've made you guys wait. You guys want to find out how to make an animation with just using some uh, still images. So we're gonna go into, this is our game that we've been working on, sort of. Not really, it's not a real game, I guess. I mean, I guess you can play it, but it's not, uh, it's not anything too, too special. Um, but if you want to know how to do any of this stuff that you're seeing on the screen right now, check out some of my other videos. Everything in here was done on video for you guys, and it was used as a talking point for the game. So, in this little thing we are going to make one of the characters appear, and I'm going to use my animation I already have stuff for because, uh, as you can probably guess, I don't have a ton of time to make up a bunch of new stuff. So we're going to use uh, my character Danny at the end of Lavar's life. When he appears, there is an animation that happens, but it is actually uh, three separate images that you're seeing, but they will flip through them on a regular basis, like just keep repeating. Uh, and we're going to talk about how to do that in this video here. So first of all, I just want to get the images put in. So. Okay, so still up in this area here, before the game starts, you want to put in your animation coding. And so, we are going to make a new image, and I tend to make this, like these ones, a little bit further down. You guys could set it up however you want. Uh, the thing that I'm showing you could work really good for, say, you want the characters to blink, or... Uh, I mean, I guess you could do mouth movements and stuff, it just depends on how crazy you want to get with it. So, yeah, we're gonna do it. Just a little bit down because there's only going to be one animation in this video, so... Or one animation in this game. So, let's do... Oops. Let's do... Or use it, uh, do it the same way as I did it in Lavar's Life, and then we'll play around with the settings. So, Now you don't have to do just three, you can have many images, however many you need, to create your animation. Um, I probably wouldn't suggest creating a full animation this way, but it is a way that you can create an animation and, uh, and have it go. So this image, Danny, is going to be the animation itself. I have up here the images done because we're going to show you each an individual image. Um, let us get... I took out the password. Good. Okay. Um, you know, we could probably even take out the player's name because it just makes more stuff that we have to do before things. So again, if you want to remove something, we're just going to do this quickly because I want... we're focusing on the animation in this video and that's what I want. So, um... Show... Okay, show Danny one. take out this little spot here because I don't want it to get upset because it doesn't have that. 
<coughs> also, sorry if the noise in the background. It's a long care day, but I need to get this video made, so yeah. <laughs> so now we're gonna go file save. Alright. So we'll play around with this stuff up here in a bit. And down here, you guys, this is what we're gonna look at today in our thing. So let's get going and we will check it out. Okay, so I gotta, um, where's the game? There's the game. So I gotta do shift R because I didn't do that. That will make it so it reloads every time I save, which I've already saved, so that's good. Uh, let's start a new game. My first is sim, but we should take the password out too. Okay, so here's the first image. So you can see this is the first image. This is what the second image looks like. This is the third image. Now, if once I click again, we're going to see the animation happen. This is the animation, okay? So now you guys can see sort of how it just keeps going. It keeps repeating because we have the word repeat. If we didn't have the word repeat, it would just do the three images and then it would be done. Okay, but we could change the time for some of these if we want. So let's make the middle one last much longer. File, save. See how it stops in the middle there for a little bit? That middle picture is taking a bit longer in it. Um, let me try something. I think if I do this, uh, two, but take away the decimal place. Let's see if this works. Yeah, see now you can see that middle one really lasts a long time, right? So it just depends on how you want to do it. So play around with those things. You can make up your own sort of animations. So like if, for example, you don't want, if a character is blinking, you don't want them to be like blinking constantly, right? Unless there's a reason for that. So in that case, you'd want to have higher numbers than anything with a decimal place in between where the character's not blinking and then have the character blink every once in a while kind of thing. You want it to be sort of a subtle uh, thing to it, right? So yeah, that's basically what we have here and that's that's really as easy as it is. I know I showed it in one of my other videos but I wanted to make a specific short little video about it and I thought it was a great sort of way to come back to you guys for a bit. I don't know how many Rempi videos I'm going to be doing over the next little bit because I am working on my next game and uh, and I'm also working now full time, so it kind of is getting a little bit crazy. But hopefully also sort of throw in some Renpy videos every once in a while. I have some art videos that are going to be coming out shortly, just like speed paints and maybe some of me rambling for real time art ones. And uh, those ones will most likely always turn into speed paints later on, but for now they are just going to be... Um, just going to be that, so... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video. I hope you guys understand. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And uh, I hope that this helps you guys out in your animations in the future. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.